Praise God. This is Minister Robert Lee Williams with, and I am here for part three of the update on giving it all up for God is the title of my last teaching. This day is January 23rd, 2016. And the new listeners out there, if you're listening to this video, go back and listen to part one and part two. This will bless you a lot. But to go over what I just said, after I gave a $50 offering, and the Lord told me, do you want a $50, you want a $5 blessing or a $50 blessing? So like I said, I donated $50 to a prophet of God, and uh, I had this phone call, and I got uh, a chain of restaurants to do here in the Kansas City area. And I'm making $50 for each restaurant. That's $250 a week. It's $1,000 a month. I got that because I was obedient to God to give a $50 blessing to another prophet. That is awesome. That is awesome. I haven't really experienced something like that. And it was a pretty quick, within a month, I guess. But... Uh, so if God speaks to you and wants you to make an offering to to a fellow minister or to a ministry or whatever he wants you to do, you be obedient and watch God bless you for it. But anyway, God has also been giving me some dreams here lately. And, and some I record on my phone and some I just tell to friends. So... I haven't done any YouTube videos with my dreams in some time. Um, but I do want to say this dream. I want to tell you this one. I got this one probably close to eh, maybe a month, month and a half ago, something like that. But uh, I, I, I was sleeping and God gave me this dream. And then I saw myself standing and I was getting dressed like I do for when I want to go to minister I put my white shirt on and I, and I was putting on my white tallit and when I was doing that God spoke to me in this dream and this is what he said he said Robert you knew this day was coming you knew it was going to come it's not it's not like it's taken you by surprise. And I knew what that meant. You know, what God has called me to do and who I am in his kingdom, I knew it was going to happen. But also in the dream, he said it's going to happen tomorrow. Well, um then I woke up. And then I really started thinking about it. And I, I was excited, you know, that, hey, God's going to finally put me in the ministry full time. And, and you know, I said in a lot of videos, God said, I, you know, was going to give me the instantaneous healing gift, working of miracles, signs and wonders and miracles, as in John fourteen twelve, And, uh, in a way, hey, that's exciting. I'm ready to do this thing. But in a way, I'm, I'm saddened and I'm sometimes I feel a little frightened about this. And just the other day, while I was in here, I, I was praying again about that. I said, Lord, I don't know how to act. How am I supposed to act to do this, you know? I'm no big whoop de doo preacher or nothing like that. How do I act? <laughs> Guess what he said? <laughs> Read the book of Acts. Oh, well, that makes sense. How am I supposed to act? you got to read the book of Acts, and I'll learn. So that's what I'm in the process of doing the last couple of days. I'm up to Acts chapter 10. I, I still got, I think, so it, I got a little bit to go. But anyway... Uh, I know that God is going to put me in the ministry full-time. 
But to have the instantaneous healing gift and working of miracles, I've always known this. It's going to be in the time of trouble. America and the world is in trouble. You see uh, these uh, Syrian refugees going all over the world, and you see the chaos they're doing? Well, I, I would suggest that you guys go back into my archives and you watch the video of the gates of hell are opening. And I saw thousands of demons about ready to go out into the world. The gates of hell were going to open. Well, that sucker is definitely open now. And you're seeing all these people, these Muslims, going all over the world and they're bringing chaos. But, uh, so that's, that's, that's the interpretation on that dream. But, uh, but I've been watching on YouTube that, and on Facebook here, that the Lord is, is showing himself to Muslims, and they're giving their lives to him. And praise God for that. Because there are some good Muslims out there. And uh, we need to uh, teach and preach to them, be an evangelist to them. That way the, the Lord will save them as well, as many as possible. Oh, also, another update. Uh, about a month ago, I got a new granddaughter. Uh, she was a month premature. And uh, she's been in the hospital all this time. And I just found out from my daughter that she went home today. Praise God for that. And... Uh, so God is up to something. Uh, I was laying here and, and well, when, when I know that God's about ready to do something big with my life or something out there on the world stage, he's, he's kind of turning the heat up on me, you know, a couple of days ago. I knew something was up in the spirit realm. I just didn't know what. Well, now I'm, I'm reading the book of Acts and, and uh, I thank God for showing me things in there. I want to do a teachings on, on the book of Acts and on what he wants me to teach you guys. And, uh, and I'll also let you know about this also. You know, I, I knew that opportunities was going to start coming my way. Well, at 4 o'clock in the morning, you know, I was up, you know. Uh, I uh, I woke up and I was looking on Facebook, you know, and, you know, liking this video or this, this thing here, you know, I'd pass it on. And uh, I had a message come over, an instant message from a pastor friend of mine who's uh, in Topeka, Kansas, which is about an hour away from me. And uh, he asked me if I would come this Sunday and blow the shofar at his church, he said he'd pay all my expenses, uh, but I had to uh, write him back and tell him where I was at in this rehabilitation center, so I could not come. But uh, when I get out of here, I'll go and to his church, and I'll blow the show far there, and uh, we'll see what God holds in store. And I know that many other opportunities are going to come my way. I know that God is, is, is like I said, going to put me in ministry on full time. I'm going to be traveling around the country and around the world. You know, I don't have any money right now, but I know but God's going to take care of all that. I'm not worried about it. I know that people are going to want to know about the shofar. They're going to hear the teachings that God is going to put on my heart. I'm going to pray for healing and deliverance from people, and they're going to be healed. They're going to be delivered. I know this. I've been told by many prophets that I have a gift of healing. I'm going to use that gift to the best of my ability, 
I'm going to do it in Jesus' name. I'm not doing it in Robert's name. I couldn't do nothing. But I do it all in Jesus Christ's name. The Son of the Most High God. For He's the healer. And He will heal you. And He will deliver you from any oppressions that the devil has been put upon you. You know, the devil has tried to stop me with these feet problems that I have. But they're healing up. The Lord is healing my feet because there's a lot of people out there praying for me. And I thank you for your prayers. And uh, and, and I thank you for everything that you guys are doing for me. Thank you for listening to these videos. It means a lot to me. That I'm, and I thank God for letting me help him change somebody else's life out there. So if you're suffering from anything, you need prayer, contact me and I'll pray for you. And if you want a video prayer done specifically for you, you let me know and I'll do a special video. I have another channel that I just pray for individuals that only the individual can see on this channel. So if you need prayer for healing, let me know. You can send me an email at robw3838 at gmail.com. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close now. And uh, I just want to thank you for watching. And wait for my next teaching, what God puts on my heart to do. And uh, if anyone needs a guest speaker... Uh, or if you know of a church is in need of a pastor, you know, I'd be glad to come in and be an intern pastor or be a full-time pastor. I'm willing to go anywhere you want, that God wants me to go. I'm just waiting on the next adventure, waiting on my next assignment. So if I can be of help to anyone, please contact me you guys take care god bless you i love you and i'll see you on my next video